Hey guys, Mihir here from Creative Business Build and today I wanted to talk about why it's important to have business skills and at least some marketing skills if you want to be successful as a freelance creative professional. It doesn't matter what kind of a freelance creative professional you are. You can be a graphic designer, a web designer, an illustrator, an animation artist, a 3D designer or a UX designer or basically any kind of uh, creative professional that works online. Of course, you are fully freelance. If you got a portfolio posted somewhere, whether on your own website or on uh, Behance or some other portals that support that, and uh, you're trying to get clients. Um, the only way you will get clients if you've got a portfolio posted online is is uh, if somebody visits that portfolio, likes your work, and they also have to be in the market for that work. So, for example, if you do graphic design, the company or somebody that actually needs graphic design done has to see your portfolio and has to get interested in working with you. Um, this is okay and can get you a couple of clients, but it's not the best way to actually get clients online. That's why. I say it's very important to have uh, some marketing skills. So why is it so important to have marketing skills and to reach out to clients that uh, are potentially interested in working with you? Um, the thing is that if you've got a portfolio and you are waiting for clients to see your work uh, and maybe hire you, you're at the mercy of too much, uh, you're at the mercy of odds. And uh, the odds are that clients that will actually want to hire you um, maybe are not perfect for you or are not the ones you really want to be working with. So, or maybe there's just not enough of them. Um, and if you really want to build your business and build your own client base so that you will be able to choose, to have choice uh, when it comes to choosing projects and that you will be able to have enough clients in line so that you'll be able to decide on which projects you want to work for and which ones don't actually fit uh, the kind of work you do uh, or the kind of work you like to do or are passionate about. Um, it's very important to have marketing skills because if you have marketing skills, you will know where to find potential clients. You will know how to reach out to them and maybe get them interested in working with you and start building a business relationship with, uh, with the clients that are really the ones that need the work that you are most passionate about. Because every creative professional has a, has a specific uh, area that they like to work on the most. For example, if you're a graphic designer and you like to work on logos, um, that's okay, but it's too broadly defined. Probably some graphic designers like to work, for, like to work on logos for tech companies, Other like, others like to create logos for cafes or restaurants or something and others are more passionate about creating logos for some cartoons or I don't know some comics or something like that. Uh, that's why it's very important to define the area we want to work with uh, and look for businesses that uh, fit your client criteria. That's why I think it's very important to have marketing skills. Um, so what are these marketing skills? Uh, the first one is actually knowing where to find clients and uh, knowing how to, get, how to get their contacts. The next one is to reach out in a way that will actually present you as a serious creative professional um, who can basically help them with their business by leveraging uh, their creative skills. And uh, marketing skills are really invaluable here. My suggestion would be to go out and proactively find clients that you would really like to work for. Uh, one example would be check out uh, some websites and if you find a website from uh, some business that really uh, really has that are that really fits your client criteria um, it's good to reach out to them directly introduce yourself show them some of your work and explain to them how your work can actually help their business a good example of this would be if you find some some brand that sells, if you find a website that sells uh, some of their custom branded uh, products, I don't know, this can be products for fitness industry or some, some uh, food products or some supplements for something, and you notice that uh, their design isn't that good and you have an idea of how you could improve that design. 
Um, so just uh, explain your idea to them and uh, get them interested in working with you for communication and for offering value upfront. Um, this works wonders because uh, people are used to getting spammed. They are used to getting messages and emails uh, from people who just want to take something from them. So if you're actually delivering value to them by providing ideas or something like that, they will be much more likely to work with you and uh, it could be a beginning of a great business relationship. Um, I've used this uh, technique, if you want to call it a technique, in the past and it's worked wonders and I've started many business relationships based with this. I encourage you guys to try it out, see how it works out for you, let me know in the comments or contact me on Facebook and if you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.